All right, John, you wanna make sure it's on. First thing you wanna do, if the fresh air setup is on, always hit no for the fresh air setup. All right, then you'll see it go to its 20.8, zero, 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 zero. At this point, it is ready to start calibration. You can see I have in the back here, I got my regular four gas, and then I also have my isobutylene. I have them set up like this, so it goes one after the other. So you start with your Altair four gas, and then you go to your isobutylene. So all you're gonna do is hold down the up arrow, for about three to four seconds. It's gonna change. It's gonna ask you if you wanna zero calibrate. You're gonna hit yes. Then what it's gonna do, it's gonna go through its sensor refresh. As soon as it's done that, then it's time to calibrate. You're always gonna do your Altair gas first and then your isobutylene. Never the other way around. Always four gas first and then your iso. All right, so you'll see it's going through its sensor refresh right now. I'm light this up so you can see it. It's going through its sensor refresh, making sure that all sensors are set to at least a factory zero or as close as possible as they can get it without having to uh, calibrate the unit. All right. So it's about half to three quarters of the way done. There we go. All right, so past its sensor refresh. There was a little bit of drift on the VOC down here, but we'll get rid of that shortly. Perfect. So as you can see, all check marks past its zero calibration. At this point, it asks you if you want to span cal. And as you can see, it has the four gases, which means it wants the four gas, not the VOC, the four gas. So here's where you're going to hit yes. And then you're just going to simply take the gas and hook it up. Right. Grab this so you can see at this point, you'll start to see the numbers change. The O2 is starting to drop. Everything else is starting to come up. Yeah, it's backwards in the camera, but you get the idea. So as you can see, once they get up to the proper set points and stabilize, that'll pass calibration. Let's set you back down over here. All right, so right now we're only at two minutes and 30 seconds and we're halfway done, so it doesn't take that long. Um, even for a PID, you're looking at maybe about four minutes tops. Um, the one thing you also wanna make sure is that you're not doing this around a truck or any type of uh, heavy equipment exhaust. It will mess up the calibration. The CO will start to interfere with the uh, sensor. So you wanna make sure that you're clear and as clear of a space as you can possibly be. Outside is fine, uh, office, wherever. So as you can see, it passed the first round. I'm just gonna unhook and as you can see now it only wants the voc it only wants the one gas all the four rest are blank so here you're gonna hit yes and then hook up your gas i'm gonna grab you for a second so now as you can see the numbers are starting to fluctuate they're starting to move along with the gas it's getting up there, 67, 83. Should get up to 100 or as close to it as possible and then I'll make the correction factor for it. And we did have a drift of about 0 0.2, 0 0.3 and there's the 0 0.2 which we're gonna get rid of right now. All right, so three minutes, 50 seconds, you're back out on the job site. Um, you should see this pass in about 10, 15 seconds, we're at 3.59, four minutes right now. And you'll start to hear her say that she passed her calibration. There you go, you are ready to go back out in the field. So again, just to reiterate, you're gonna wanna make sure that you hold the up arrow to begin with for about three to four seconds then it's gonna ask you if you want to zero calibrate. And at that point you hit yes. After that, it's going to ask you if you want to span cal and then you'll see the four gases that it wants, which means the four gas mixture. Hit yes, let it calibrate that. As long as it passes that, it's gonna go on to the next round, which will be the isobutylene. And you'll remember, you'll just see the one uh, um, sensor point light up and that's how you know it wants the isobutylene. So just remember, uh, go four gas and then go uh, isobutylene and you'll be fine. Any other questions, give me a holler.